We're going to join a contest right here in a minute on Cheap Ass Movie Review. Stafford for Cheap Ass Movie Review, and one of the uh, things that inspired me to do this particular show and to do this thing is H&S Collectibles. Now, H&S Collectibles is run by Cody, and uh, Cody, I've got a link down here below so you can go and see H&S Collectibles so you kind of know what's going on, but uh, I, I like watching Cody's videos. He talks about hauls, the stuff that he buys. Uh, it could be anything. He goes all over the place. So he goes from movies to toys to vinyl and talks about all the different things and I really enjoy watching those videos and uh, uh, it kind of inspired me to do my videos that I'm doing now and uh, but anyway Cody at h and Collectibles is having a 500 subscriber contest and you submit a video saying what your favorite you know horror collectible is well so we're going to do that right now now my personal favorite that I like uh, uh, he said that he sits in his office and he gazes out upon you know, something in his office, like a poster or something, and that the, the one he likes the most, you know, kind of looks at more than often is his favorite. And because you have, it's like saying, you know, which is your favorite kid, you know, you need it, nobody's going to do that. So, so what you do is, uh, so he had mentioned that, and I wanted to say what well, my personal favorite collectible was that I have horror and sci-fi. Uh, and I would have to say, out of the horror side of things, because I have a lot of sci-fi, as you can see behind me, but uh, is this metal poster that I got for The Bride of Frankenstein. Now, one of the reasons it's my favorite is because I love the movie The Bride of Frankenstein. It's my favorite universal horror film. I love it the best. I love James Wells, the director. After I saw the film, when it first came out on DVD, uh, I was gifted a copy, and I got to see it and study it and see all the backstory, you know, uh, all the documentaries and stuff that Universal had done, and uh, I was just really enthralled with James Whale, and I went and I found out more about his movies, about Showboat, uh, you know, uh, uh, The Old Dark House, things like that, and went and found some of the movies, and also found some of the actors in other movies, and uh, like uh, Thessinger and uh, the guy that's the mad doctor that helps uh, Dr. Frankenstein, uh, and, and went and found other films with these folks in them because I liked them so much. It's Ernest Sessinger, I had to think. But anyway, he, uh, uh, I really did enjoy him in other movies. He'd been in other movies with Boris Karloff, and I uh, got to know about him. He's in Old Dark House. He's also in uh, 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 trying to, The Ghoul, uh, which is, is a good film if you've never seen it. Uh, and it's not technically a universal horror film, but it's got Boris Karloff and Ernest Sessinger in it. But it's not directed by James Well. But anyway, <laughs> I digress. Uh, but this is my favorite of the Universal Horror Films. Now, of course, I saw the Universal Horror Films when I was a kid. I saw them on Shock Theater growing up. And I was terrified because I was four or five years old. So I was really kind of scared when those came out. But when it came out on DVD, then I got to study the film, see more about it, and just really fell in love with the film. So it's my, by far my favorite Universal Horror Film. And uh, a great score by Franz Waxman. Uh, it's just uh, uh, Colin Clive's great in it. Everybody's great in the movie, and I just really do enjoy it. Elsa Lanchester, uh, you know, all kinds of stuff. I like the little prequel bit where it's uh, Mary Shelley at the beginning. And uh, just all of that. It's got a lot of humor to it, you know, just a lot of fun. And I really do enjoy that movie. movie. So when I was on a trip, I picked this up. Uh, I saw it. Uh, I was with my family, and we were uh, uh, on a little bit of a vacation. And I saw it uh, years ago and picked it up, and I was just so happy to have a copy of the poster for the movie. It's one of my favorites. Uh, Got to be in my top ten favorites of all time, and I uh, just really do enjoy the film. So, And I have this in my office. I look at it from time to time, and I'm just like, man, you know, what a great movie. And uh, just to see Boris Karloff and er er uh, Elsa Lanchester, by the way, uh, see them both in it and, and see that, and uh, it just reminds me of how much I love that movie. And uh, I do watch it from time to time, dig, dig out that Blu-ray and watch it again. So uh, I, I just wanted to say that this is my submission for Cody's 500 subscriber contest. And uh, thank Cody for inspiring me to do my videos. And uh, hopefully I'll get more regular and do a little more. And uh, so maybe one day I'll hit 500 subscribers. So uh, uh, thank you, Cody, for everything. And thank you, h and Collectibles. And uh, love you guys and enjoy the videos. So thank you so much. <laughs>